children let's pray our gracious heavenly father god of abraham god of isaac god of jacob you are the god of the whole world lord help us to understand and live according to your way as we are going to listen the story bless all the children help them to understand how daniel shadrach meshach and abednego lived and stood firm help these children to make them to understand fill their holy spirit so that whatever they learn may keep in their minds and practice in their day to day life lord once again i am submitting all the children into thy care and keeping bless the parents to Lord we are sinners for your sins and shortcomings. Thank you Lord for sparing our lives. Thank you Lord for many blessings you have poured upon each one of us. Help us, guide us, fill the Holy Spirit so that may our words and actions may be acceptable in thy sight this we mercy is i ask in jesus name amen so last week we had learned daniel shadrach meshach and abednego the story continues okay these four and men they stood firm the food which is a good for the body they ate and they drank only water so one day king nebuchadnezzar he wants to see the young people those who came from the jerusalem so even daniel shadrach meshach and abednego they were there so king nebuchadnezzar could recognize these four and men they look so big and cheerful and even healthy and strong So King Nebuchadnezzar he was very happy with this foreign man and he wants to test these four and people he asked many questions to find out how much knowledge they have So what am I thinking Nebuchadnezzar asked these people they were able to give the answers so king was very happy with that and even he remarked that you are much wiser than the other and people so these people were very happy so one night king nebuchadnezzar he had a dream and morning you know he forgot about the dream what usually we do when we get the dream sometimes we forget and 
we don't bother whereas the king nebuchadnezzar was not like that he wants to know the dream so he called all the wise men and he was asking them last night i had the dream i forgot so you have to tell me the dream then this wise man no they said we are sorry we can't tell the dream if you tell the dream then we can tell the meaning of it but we can't tell the dream what you got so king was quite upset and he told the helpers go and bring all the wise men in that kingdom if they don't tell me the dream which i had i'm going to kill all these wise men so some of the helpers so they went to daniel chandra meshak and abednego and they told king was that calling all the wise men so daniel he asked him for what then the helper said last night king had a dream and he forgot about it so you all have to tell the dream and if you don't tell then king is going to kill all the wise men so daniel he asked those helpers take me to the king so these helpers they took him to the king and in front of him he stood and he asked give me the king told that i had a dream last night and i want to know about the dream and its meaning then daniel said my lord give me little time so that i can tell the dream and its meaning so king accepted he gave permission so daniel he rushed to his friends shadrach meshach and abednego and he told what conversation he had with the king nebuchadnezzar and they all laid and they prayed god save save us and you please reveal the dream that he was to feed the god but he knew he revealed the dream to daniel so he came to king and you know he said god had shown him the dream in the king's dream he saw a great image okay made of different kinds of metals the head was with gold the arms and the chest were silver the body was brass the legs were iron the feet were iron and clay mixed that was a dream king nebuchadnezzar had then now he has to tell the meaning of the dream so 
as soon as Daniel told the dream about the dream, he just the king was very happy and he shouted and he said, "Exactly, I saw the same thing." So Daniel told the king the meaning of the dream. So Daniel told the king that it meant that his kingdom would not last for ever but that other kingdoms would rule Then Daniel told the king that he had seen a large rock hit the feet of the image that meant that jesus was coming to this earth to get his people and set up god's kingdom that will never end the king thank daniel and did not have all his wise men came the same god who helped daniel and his three friends will help you to when you ask him to honestly They pray to the God. All four of them, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they earnestly prayed. So God help them. So also, when we ask God in prayer. Surely God will help us just like how God helped Daniel Shadrach and Meshach and that the people like that even he's ever ready to help us he's ever ready to um rescue from the dangers he's ever ready to help us and love us and protect us from all harms and dangers so king nebuchadnezzar he was to kill all the wise men but daniel because of him with the help of god he could save all the wise men so boys and girls we have to earnestly pray to god he is ever ready to help us the heading of this story is a king's strange dream dream you know why i'm telling now because king had a dream he dreamt but he forgot okay so the dream which he had with the help of god daniel could revealed to the king he was very happy so the bible says surely the lord god will do nothing but he revealed his secret unto his servants the prophets amos third chapter 
seven words. The moral of the story is God help us understand the Bible so that we can work for Him. So, when we read the Bible, pray to the Lord to understand what we are reading. And He reveals the things. Prophets, He revealed to the prophets what is the Bible. So also, when we earnestly pray to God, He will lead us and guide us and fill His Spirit so that we can understand the Bible. So, boys and girls, before you open your Bible to read, pray to the Lord to understand what you are going to read. Thank you for listening to the story. Again, next week we will meet. Till then, God be with us. Now we are going to hear a song. What can I give? What can I bring? That would be pleasing to my King. But I give my heart, not just a part. I'm lifting up my Thank you, Lord, for listening to our prayer. I, I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.